Welcome to another Jose Productions video. Today we are going to take a look at the Wilmot Proviso. We're going to explain it, break it down, and really we're also going to take a look at sectional tensions in the nation and really how slavery contributed to them. So, a little historical context for you. No! God, please, no! No! The issue of slavery in the territories inflamed sectional controversy. In fact, one of the things that happens is the acquisition of new territory is going to bring up debates over whether or not these territories should allow or restrict slavery. And if you go back, this isn't the first time. In fact, in 1819, there was a tension in the country and it was getting hot. It's getting hot in here. So hot. Politically, because Missouri, the first kind of territory out of the Louisiana Purchase, requests admission into the Union as a slave state. And this threatened the balance of power in Congress, because at that point, there were 11 free and 11 slave. And of course, we know what happened, but a little review never hurt anybody. Without the balance, one section would be able to get legislation passed that benefited them. And of course, this really concerned Northerners because Missouri wanted to enter the Union as a slave state and they were worried that the South would have the political power. And of course what ends up happening is you had the Talmadge Amendment which basically said, hey Southerners, hold up. Hold up. Hey. And that would have prohibited the further introduction of slaves into Missouri. All slaves currently in Missouri would be freed at the age of 25. And there would be the gradual elimination of slavery in Missouri. And of course, Southerners saw this amendment as an attack on slavery. And could this be the beginning of a sustained attack on the slave system, the Southern way of life throughout the South? And what happens? Denied. It's rejected passed by the House because the Northerners have an advantage there, but not the Senate. So let's go to the topic that we're supposed to cover today. In 1846, sectional tensions explode again. It gets hot. It's getting hot in here. So hot. So take off. And the real big issue is, of course, the Mexican-American War. It provokes a controversy. Because there was a concern amongst Northerners, especially Northern Whigs, but also some Northern Democrats, that the war was an excuse to expand Southern slavery. That Polk's administration provoked a war to somehow get new territory for Southern slave states. And we saw what happened when a young congressman says, hey Polk, show me the spot. Why not, man? I'm coming for that number one spot. Right. Lincoln, of course, introduces his spot resolution where he basically says, show us where the spot was, where American blood was spilled on American soil. They doubt very much that that is actually what happened. And what you see is a congressman by the name of David Wilmot, a Democrat, who basically says three months into the war, you know, the war's not even over, he introduces the Wilmot Proviso. And in it, he basically says, hey, any territory Hold up. Hey. that we acquire as a result of the war with Mexico, we are going to ban slavery in it. So slavery in any territory from this war is not going to be allowed. And of course, once again, Southerners are looking at this situation. It kind of brings back flashbacks of the Talmadge Amendment. And they say, it's all about the South. Come on, are you trying to ban slavery? Is this another attack on the slave system? The Southern way of life? Heck no, we're not going to stand for it. And what ends up happening is this Democrat from Pennsylvania, a northerner, he puts this Wilmot Proviso, it passes the House of Representatives twice, but it's defeated in Denied. the Senate because there's the balance of power. And so the Wilmot Proviso goes down in flames. But the real big issue, both the Talmadge Amendment and the Wilmot Proviso never become federal law. They both are defeated. And yet, both the Talmadge Amendment and the Wilmot Proviso come to symbolize the issue of slavery in new territories and the sectional tensions that arise when they're trying to figure this stuff out. And both the crisis will be settled by compromise. Eventually, we'll have the Missouri Compromise of 1820, and uh, in another lecture, we'll take a look at the Compromise of 1850. 
The thing you need to keep in mind is the Mexican-American War kind of reignites this debate over slavery, and it's not going to stop until the Civil War. In fact, you're going to see repeated attempts at compromise, but ultimately, those attempts, the Compromise of 1850, the Kansas-Nebraska Act, they're going to fail to calm tensions. And in the 1850s, trust between the North and the South would further break down and culminate in the Civil Wars. All right, everybody, that's going to do it today. Thanks for checking out another video. If you haven't done so, now's the time to subscribe to the channel. Click like, tell a friend, and peace.